All right, everybody. Welcome back to Simply On Chain. Today, I am going to introduce a new metric that many of you probably already follow because this metric is widely regarded as the best metric to predict Bitcoin price. And that metric is called M2, also known as global liquidity. Lynn Alden recently wrote a research article about M2 and found that the Bitcoin price follows M2 83% of the time, which is higher than any other asset class. Building off of that, Raul Paul found that if you shifted M2 forward by 10 weeks, the correlation between the two actually becomes 86%. What's nice for us is that by implementing this lead time, we are able to accurately guess the direction of Bitcoin price 86% of the time. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have two charts. The top is Bitcoin and the bottom is global liquidity. Starting in 2023, global liquidity spikes up. So does the Bitcoin price. A little bit later, Bitcoin is trading in a range and then drops sharply in price. The same thing happens with global M2. Right here is the range then it drops sharply in price. Fast forward to early 2024. Global liquidity is rising. So does the Bitcoin price. Then Bitcoin trades in this massive range for almost six months. And what do you know? Global liquidity is in this same range for over six months. Then when M2 rips higher, so does the price. Fast forward to this year, we've been in a downtrend for about three months. In global M2, we remain in the downtrend for about three months. The relationship between Bitcoin and M2 becomes even more evident when we look at the year over year change of the M2 growth rate. The blue that you see represents a positive M2 growth rate and the orange that you see represents a negative M2 growth rate. The white line is the Bitcoin price, and the pink line is the M2 money supply. Notice that when M2 growth rate is positive, we are in a bull market, and when M2 growth rate peaks, that is right around where Bitcoin price peaks as well. On the flip side, when M2 growth is negative, we are in the depths of the bear market, and those are the absolute best times to be buying Bitcoin to get multiples on your return. For example, if you had bought Bitcoin here, where the growth rate was a negative 3.5%, you would have been buying at a Bitcoin price of 19 k As of today, the Bitcoin price is about 84 k so you would have made over a 4x on your investment. Okay, so now let's talk about where we are currently and where we might be headed. Based on the global liquidity chart with a 10 week lead time, global liquidity is projected to actually go down in the next two weeks to a month and then rise sharply afterwards. So Bitcoin price should follow a similar type of path. So now the question becomes, what price level could we fall down to before we start rising again? Based on this cost basis distribution chart, there is a big air gap between the around 74k range to 83k. This means that not many people bought in this region and 74k likely becomes the new level of support. I personally have limit orders right above the support line in case price doesn't actually hit the support level. This chart provides a great visual of the price levels at which investors have purchased Bitcoin. So if you are interested in learning more about it, I will have a link to a video in the description below. And that's going to be it for today's video. As a summary, prices may fall with M2 in the short term, but it should rip higher afterwards. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you do want updates on this chart 
And if you do want access to the charts, I will have an affiliate link in the description below, and I'll see you next time.